If you need a free audio recorder, one that'll work on any Windows PC, including Windows Vista, check out freecorder.com. It's a toolbar that sits in your browser just like this. Here it is, see? Um, it's got some really basic uh, buttons that make it really easy to use. There's a record button, stop, pause, play, and then settings. I'm gonna click on the settings button right now. It brings up this little free quarter settings box. Very simple. I've just got it set up to record from the free quarter audio driver. I've got it set up to record from the free quarter audio input, sorry, input audio driver. I've got my output format set at 128 kilobits a second, but it goes all the way down to 320 if you wanted to record at that high quality. Um, I can set how I want to prompt for file names. I can set uh, my uh, recording folder destination. So it's all pretty straightforward. So I'm just going to close it. And then well, what it leaves you is this tiny little uh, recording box. It's sort of a status box that tells you whether or not you're recording or not. So right now it's telling me I'm not recording. I'm going to click on the record button and it now starts recording my voice. I'm big, loud, yellow line. So and then say if I wanted to uh, record from the BBC, I'm going to just pause this one second and pull up the BBC website. I'll be right back. So here is the BBC Radio homepage, and you can listen to the BBC live online all the time if you want, but say I had to go do an errand and I wasn't able to listen to the news and I wanted to record it. I just click on to the listen to the latest news link. It brings up the BBC media player. And I think you can see this, but there is now a green line in the recording box in addition to my loud yellow line. And what that means is the free quarter uh, toolbar is recording two files now. One is my voice and one is a pure stream of the BBC News. So what's neat is that there's not going to be any background noise with the BBC. It's, it's a stream capture of the BBC Radio News. So let me just show you. I'm going to um, stop this. So I'm now going to stop the BBC stream. And then I am going to minimize that out here, actually close that. I'll close this little, oh, actually let me stop the recording. So I'm just clicking on stop. It's asking me to name it. So I'm going to call it BBC test and then accept. Now it says I'm not recording. So I'm going to close that because I'm not. So and to play my file, I just go to the play button, I click on play, oops, it's saying that I can't pull it up, hang on one second, why would it say that? Alright, you know what, it thinks that there's another version of it running, so I'm going to just delete and that, so I'm going to hit play, let me stop that right now. So now that I've finished, uh, I've stopped the recording, I just want to click on play to play my files. It brings up the free quarter recordings folder. There are two files in here, as I said there would be. One is my voice, which is the long one. I was chatty. And then the other one is BBC Radio. So I'm going to click on that. And as you saw, it saves it as an MP3. Windows Media Player is my default MP3 player. So there it is. It's playing this beautiful stream of clear quality audio from the BBC. Pretty cool. And that's all there is to it. So I'm going to just minimize this. Now other cool things about the toolbar in addition to the fact that it can record pretty much any audio stream. Um, if you scroll over, let me just enlarge this page so you can see it. There is actually a little radio built into the, uh, here it is, a little radio built into the toolbar. What's neat about that is whether you're recording or not, it's kind of fun just to have a little radio player right there and you can set it to um, play your favorite radio stations. I've got it set up so when I'm just surfing the web or whatever, I can have my favorite radio station streaming there. And then you can also record from it just by clicking on the record button. Uh, other things of note, here let me just close this up a little bit, is that if you um, scroll down on the same page, freequarter.com, if you go down, um, this is where you get it free, and there's also actually a great review from the guys at geek.com, but if you go down uh, further on this page, there are more descriptions about how it works, how to set it up, um, 
more get it free buttons um, and then what the system requirements are so uh, it's all right here uh, freequarter.com and check it out okie dokie